If you've been to the Classic this week, you may have noticed a parking lot just off the entrance to the tournament. News 8's Ava Hedges shows us inside the operation. If I get you to pull right next to the closest one, yeah, I think we can get 53 cars and pretty much as many bikes fill the driveway, motorcycles, we get people on motorcycles. Rob Hodson, a local from the area, parks cars at $20 each on his parents' lawn at the John Deere Classic. Bring it back, you got it, you got it. They have people that's been coming here for 14 years, 12 years, something like that. This operation has been around for some time. Local Cindy Dean says her brother started it when the tournament first came to the Quad Cities. He decided, hey, let's start parking, and people would ask, you know, hey, can we park in your yard? He said, sure. And it kind of started the whole thing. And it's caught on in the neighborhood since then. Now it's kind of like a war. <laughs> it gets a little competitive up and down the street. It's not just about the friendly competition. This operation helps cover property costs. They're responsible for their own gravel. They're responsible for their own roads. They're responsible for the water. So that helps out a lot too. And the parking lot is just steps away from the emissions line here, which takes you right to the front of the Classics entrance. Older couples, elderly, or somebody with a disability, they're close. This is the closest spot to an entrance. So we look for that and try to help out that way as well. All in all, it's a good time for a good cause. We make it fun. It's got to be fun. And the more fun we're having in the show, then the more fun people tend to have inside as well. At the John Deere Classic, Ava Hedges, WQAD News 8. Rob says the lot will be open and people are welcome to park there for the concerts tonight and tomorrow night.